What's going on guys, Kaiger here, and I'm going to show you my top league build and then walk you through what happened in my top league this week. All right, so as you see right here, uh, I am using bow and book. I am using a uh, three fire and a holy. Uh, I am going into uh, crit, tenacity, damage increase, damage decrease, and crit damage have very little bit of HP steal rate, which is totally fine. And then I'm getting uh, some most uh, a lot of that damage increase from my IOs as well as I'm doing Truth Key, Staff of Order. So I'm a bruisery damage dealer. Uh, that's kind of because of how my server is. There's a lot of gladiators, so I need to be able to survive and escape a little bit. Uh, but this is a meta choice that's going to depend on what you see on your server. Now, as far as abilities, uh, as you see right here, uh, this is what I used on my priest uh, for top league. This is not what I would suggest for most people. Uh, the two people I was playing with, didn't uh, we didn't communicate a whole lot. It was just go in and each of us do our individual kind of thing if i was working with a team we would have uh somebody doing the star blessings and then everyone keep heal and then i would use kiss of frostworm uh because it's a very good aoe skill to use on people uh, a lot of people talk about using cold fire bird as the fourth slot i really like frostworm as the fourth slot because I like to do a lot of uh, a lot of range gameplay, where a lot of people just click the buttons and have it do the thing. I like to actually aim my abilities like like so, and all three of the priest abilities I'm using allow me to do that. Very similarly to. Uh, there's two abilities on my setup here that allow me to do the same thing. One, as you see right here, which has a very surprising range. Both of those let me target, whereas the other two are just point and click. Now, talking about why I picked the skills I did on the Archer uh, Marksman, I'm using a Vortex Arrow as a refresher with how the passive works so I can do multi-arrow more often whereas shattering arrow that it does good damage in a PvE setting but in PvP it kind of locks you up locks you in place uh, allows your opponents to jump on you and the damage versus time it takes is not worth it in PvP uh, where I change that out with the second over here shifting bolt which, uh, as you see, knocks, uh, showers them with damage. You also have the option of doing Break Free, which uh, slows that area. I find it, I find the uh, wind up takes too long, in my opinion, so I do not use it. Now, my fairies and wills. Uh, as you see, uh, I am using the Triple Fire and Holy. Uh, Licorice is not able to be cast in top league, but she is there to be a holy. Uh, and then when we look at my wills, I'm going, I have a fierce attack right there. Uh, then I have a little bit of nightmare. This is still, uh, an early -ish server, so I don't have the cores that I'm kind of going for yet, but the other two are level four slaughter. Uh, level 3 slaughter so I have a level 7 slaughter if you watched my will video and as you see I have three sets of break free and one set of soul hunt uh, I have three different abilities that CC as well as uh, gladiators on my team that also CC so soul hunt is pretty good as well as as you see right here enemies that are decelerated counts as well and slaughter itself uh as we'll see right here uh drastically reduce the movement speed of target for a short while 
So even slaughter will trigger uh, soul hunt. So now let's jump into the gameplay and walk you through what's happening as it happens. All right, so we have our first matchup. This is uh, starting the top eight. Uh, as you see, we're in the quarterfinals. Uh, I think we already did the first one before I was able to. Yeah, as you see right here, round two right here. So we did a really quick one. We just ran in, uh, drop our load, and it was over. But now uh, let's see how we do this. Uh, if we have tons of priest, I can go judge and then pre-cast abilities to do double tornado in the beginning. But as we see, uh, Kuina uh, likes to just run in, and we actually messed up here. Uh, this happens a lot. Like I said, we don't have communication. And uh, I went to cast my star blessing, and Kuina cast hers at the same time. It doesn't stack. It just resets. So uh, one of us wasted a 30-second skill. Uh, she's throwing the tenacity ball. Uh, this, if it goes through them, it has a chance to lower tenacity. And then on the blow up, it has a chance to lower tenacity. So they're using jumps, uh, use abilities. As you see, I am targeting with my abilities. Uh, we, Kawina was on a specific target. So I was actually targeting this guy first. I clicked the X up here so I could target her over here. And then I, while still having... Uh, the buff from Priest, I used Never Miss and Multi Arrow. As you see, I triggered the uh, slaughter, so I was able to slaughter her. Then we're on to this guy over here, throwing abilities, staying totally away from him, and using this wall as a medium. While every skill that I use, I can hit the back corner from even back here. Uh, this arrow is super, super far. Uh, this is super far. And then this combo is super far. And all my priest skills can hit that area as well. Just doing some recharge abilities, throw out skills. Bam, bam, bam. And that's over. And look how far I'm shooting. Now we're into the semifinals. Uh, same kind of setup. Uh, I typed in our uh, chat which person to target. Uh, no one read it because uh, all of us, as I said, are kind of doing our own thing. Uh, doo -doo -doo, countdown. Even though these are uh, kind of stompy matches, I'm able to point out some important things you can keep track of. So as we see... Uh, Goliath right here is their main frontliner. He is built like a wall, and uh, that's why everyone back here is running away. Uh, I'm going to attempt to come around and come after Janna right here uh, because I know he's their primary damage dealer. But as you see right there, uh, I notice that Goliath uh, took a lot. Uh, I think he took... Uh, two tenacity downs so his HP was going down so I uh, comboed him to finish him off and now we're on to violent right here and then Janna is down uh, that worked out really well for us I don't think they were expecting the slaughter damage on Goliath because uh, I believe how Goliath's build works he needs the first couple seconds to go by so he can uh, stack up some resistances. Alright, let's get into the next one. Combat starts. Alright, let's see what they're doing now. It looks like they were a little late out of the gate or they were waiting for us to come, I'm unsure. But it looks like those two may be AFK back here. Janna's the only one moving. Throw down AoE on everybody. Throw a Tenacity Ball. And dead. So we caught them with their pants down. And now we're down to the finals. Uh, let's get forward just a little bit. Go. 
So let's see what they're doing. Uh, as we see right here, uh, their main tank and their main damage dealer right here on top of each other. Uh, Baku Kip right here is uh, kind of a sub DPS, uh, bruiser if you will. Uh, does damage but also pretty tanky. So I want to be getting on Petros right here uh, as their main damage dealer. Throw down AoE. Uh, the tank dodged out of it appropriately. The DPS was back just a little bit and didn't get hit by it. Throw out some more damage. And their tank took... This is the issue uh, that I don't think people are realizing. Everyone is just tanking that tenacity ball, which allows uh, me to throw out some huge crit. Uh, you may be uh, built really, really tanky, but even if you have a bunch more tenacity, uh, if you get cut uh, with that tenacity ball, you're going to get this arrow to the knee. Go after him. Main DPS is down, and Kuina took her down over there. Now we're down into... Uh, round two of the finals and we're going to have the same kind of idea we want to get on Petros the main DPS uh, Lunala uh, the main tank we're going to kind of ignore uh, and then if we're able to throw out AoEs on people then we're going to do so as we see uh, their sub DPS ran forward by themselves uh, you never want to do that maybe if they had some really good healing but they do not in my opinion uh, they tank everything and then Petrus in the back it looks like Lunala right here which is their main tank was over here hanging out I guess uh, they had some connection issues I don't know uh, but Everyone else is down and I have an issue right here. I keep trying to target Petros, which is literally on top of me I'm clicking the X. I'm clicking Petros face and it won't let me it just keeps targeting uh, Lunala the entire time as you see is doing a pretty good job of just taking hits uh, But I threw aoe's in a specific way uh, Astro did some damage and Kuina did her job and uh, took down Petros, the main DPS. And now we're just whittling down uh, their main tank. Got the slow. Got the tenacity down. Swap. Dead. And that was my top league. Uh, it looked like a pretty big stomp. But as you saw, a lot of people just walked into the tenacity ball. I think as they watch this video or watch uh, guides learn things in the future, uh, they will move away from that kind of thing. And as you see, our main tank, Kuina, took a bunch of damage when there was only two of them. So I believe if uh, they were working together a little bit better, uh, they probably would have taken out Kuina and then me and Astro uh, are decently squishy. So it could have gone either way uh, if they work together um, undecided. But let me know what you guys think down below. That is my uh, top league build and what I'm going to be using for now. Uh, let me know what you're using down below. 